Hey, it's Ashley, and as requested, I'm going to walk you through a bald fade, and this has kind of got a little mix on top because it's a bald fade into a gentleman's cut. So for this, we're just going to blend the beard in with a half guard, and then I'm going to start no guard, clippers all the way closed, and I'm going to bring it right above the ear with a slight downward slope towards the occipital bone which you'll see in a second. So right here, we're not gonna bring it too high because his ridge in the back will cast a really dark shadow in this bald fade and you, you're you gonna just see a constant line and you'll be able to see, I kinda get one coming up. So we're just gonna take this, no guard, bring it all the way around the head and I'm gonna meet the other side And then you can kind of see I'm going to blend that beard in right here. And then meet behind the ear to where I stopped at on the peripheral ridge. So from here, I'm going to open my clippers back up all the way. And then I'm going to go around the head following that line I made. But there was no digging in when I created this line. So we shouldn't see really a big line between this no guard closed and this no guard opened. So instead of creating lines to blend out, I'm going to just fade up and really never create a line. So if I see one in between, I can kind of like right here, close my clippers a little bit and just hit right underneath. So there's never a big gap in between where I'm going and where I'm at. So now I'm going to grab my half guard. And I opened it up. And closed it to blend in that beard a little bit more. And now I'm going to go right under where I just was at with my no guard opened. I'm just keeping the clippers flat with the head where I'm fading up at, but I'm not going above that. And so right here, I noticed that this line, because of his head shape, kind of was a little bit heavier than I wanted it to be. So I decided to just come back to it when I could see the whole thing. So right here, I'm gonna take my one and fade above that half guard. And then I'm gonna open up my wand and go right back around. And as you fade, you're kind of raising your fade about a finger length each time. So right there you can see the difference where my half of my wand and my wand was. And then we're going to go into our one and a half guard, clippers closed. And so when you start to get to the flatter part of the head, you can angle your clippers to the side and you start to get kind of an instant taper to the top but it just more depends on where you're at on the head. And depending on the hair growth, because you can see right here, the hair is growing towards the front. So that angle on the clippers really helps to get all of the hair the same length depending on the direction it's growing. Same thing with my number two right there. Keeping that angle to keep the hair growth
pattern, the same length, really helps. So on a gentleman's haircut, each side of the head is gonna be different. We're gonna have one side that's gonna fade all the way up to the line and one side that's gonna fade into longer hair. So it's gonna be a little bit different and we're gonna blend them together kind of towards the crown of the head. So I'm just gonna clean off all of my things and reevaluate that line I noticed while I was cutting his hair. So I know where I was and I'm just gonna go right back into it. And as you can see, his head kind of dips right here where my clippers are. And so I'm trying to just give it the illusion that it doesn't dip by fading it in a little bit better. So I put my half guard on just to finish blending it back in and then since I did a little bit more fading I'm gonna go over it again with a half cord on this side just to make sure everything still matches up and then just a double check Going in with my one. And it lightened up the spot, but really I went over it again, just more based on the client's head shape. So the fade would sit a little bit nicer because it was blended. It just creates shadows due to head shape. So after I do all my clipper work, I'm going to clean off my clippers, make sure they're all clean and ready for the next client, and then I am going to start with my trimmer work. So starting with the lineup, I'm gonna go around his natural hairline. Not really digging in, just bringing it out. A C shape over the ears. And then checking the eyebrows. And the ears. And I'm just gonna use my trimmers as a triple zero and fade it into the bottom of the neckline into my no guard clippers, which will give a really nice seamless look in the back of the neck. And so after I clean off his neck, I dust him off really well so I can put the cape back on and there's no hair left over. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, starting with his hairline, cleaning it up, 
cleaning up the ears and trimming the eyebrow. And then I'm gonna clean everything off and I'm going to go for the line in the gentleman's cut. So I'm gonna wet the top first so that I'm easily able to manipulate it. And so he normally has a gentleman's cut. And so I'm just gonna follow the guide of it. So on this side, I'm just blending in from the long hair on top to my number two. And right here, I'm connecting the cowlick with the number two as well. So right here is a little tricky because I'm going to blend in his little top part that connects to the line in the gentleman's cut. But right up here, we're going to start to get longer hair that's like in between this connection. And so to have a seamless look to it, we're going to have to have a really hard angle, as you can see right here, to blend everything in really well. So now I'm pulling everything towards the back to match the longer length with the shorter length. And then we're gonna cut the bangs, just to trim. So I'm taking about a little bit less than half an inch off of the bangs and then I'm going to take about the same amount off of the top using the bangs as my guide. And now I'm going to connect to the back which I already semi cut to blend. So once I created that middle guideline I'm going to now go and start blending the top into that guide. So I'm cutting all of my left side to match my middle guideline. And now right here, I'm gonna start blending that into the short hair. And now I'm gonna use my middle guideline and start on the right side of the head, cutting everything to that same length. And you can see I'm using small sections to go all the way across the head. And then I'm going to double check the blend with the longer side and the clipper cut and make sure I'm getting my corners. And now I'm going to go ahead and put the hard part in. So I'm using my left hand to push over the hair with my comb and hold it pretty tight. And my right hand with my trimmers to create my line. And now I'm going to go and just double check that length to combine it. So that 
everything blends really nice and seamlessly into the gentleman's haircut. And for this, I'm just gonna double check that hairline. And there's a gentleman's haircut. Here's a little spin around for you. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed.